this granny and I'm going to show you how to do a unique omelet made out of squash and onions and yellow and red tomatoes from the garden two scrambled eggs. So we're going to first take this squash and the onions and saute them over into a, a pre-greased pan. Now you can use old bacon grease like I did. I just cooked some bacon. <laughs> Or you can use some olive oil if you want to use something that that's maybe healthy. You can do it that way. It ain't gonna taste no no different though. I don't think you just you use what you want to use. Just sauté it until the onions get nice and soft and glistening. Now we're gonna take two of these scrambled eggs and these are jumbo eggs, and I'm gonna add some of this egg substitute to it. That way you can have more eggs without more calories. <laughs> trying to watch your girlish figure you know what I mean <laughs> and then you're gonna take your fork and and you just go just gonna scramble them you know just gonna gonna beat them until they're nice and nice and fluffy uh, you don't have to scramble them too hard beat them like it owes your money then you're gonna add some salt and pepper and some garlic powder some onion powder just whatever seasoning you want to add to it you just go ahead and add that kind of stuff to it now, this is when we're going to put our tomatoes in the pan right here. Now, I put my tomatoes in kind of late because I want, I want a little crunch left in my tomatoes. I don't want it all soft. But if you like yours soft, you have yours soft. I cook mine like I want to cook mine. I, my taste might be different than yours. <laughs> and you just go ahead and stir it around a little bit. Just make sure it doesn't get all moist and everything. Then we're going to add our eggs to it. Add the eggs. Let the eggs spread all the way through it until it covers the bottom part of the pan right here. And then you're going to have to shake the pan a little bit. Now, we're not going to let it cook completely here on the stove. You make sure your stove is warmed up to about 400 degrees. And we're going to take this pan once it sets at the bottom and we're going to put it in the oven for about for about three to five minutes. You're going to have to check it occasionally. Lord, don't look at my oven. It was nasty, wasn't it? <laughs> Lord, it's going to fluff up nice and fluffy. And make sure you don't burn your hand. Now, of course, you ain't stupid to reach in and grab a hot-ass frying pan, are you? <laughs> Lord Jesus. Um, Now, we're just going to let that sit on the stove for about about a minute or two until the edges separate a little bit then we're gonna take a spatula take a spatula and come underneath to see how the edges have separated come underneath it with your spatula and we're gonna flip it and then once we flip it uh, you've got your omelet there and then it's gonna be time to taste it and you know I put some cheese up there too in case you didn't see that but I put some cheese on it and 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 the and there's my special China right there, China that comes from Dollar General. <laughs> and then I'm gonna let my I'm gonna let my grandson taste it. I hope you enjoyed this. Okay, now here is the true test. I'm gonna take some of my omelet here. There's my omelet. And you're trying to do this with a cell phone, it's just stupid. Let's taste it. Mmm, 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 that's good, it's got the sweetness of squash, it's got the, the onions and tomatoes, a little tang of tomatoes, real good, you guys should try it.